What's going on, but it's your bottom face, take care, go. Before I start this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos, follow me on Instagram, not my fist, follow my van, divine dimension on Spotify, everything you need to know will be in that description box below. Give the video a thumbs up, does it cost you guys a buck penny, helps the channel out. I really would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. I know I have an Amazon affiliate link, if you guys are interested in that, click on the Amazon affiliate link, shop whatever the fuck you normally shop, and it helps the channel out. I also have a Weeble affiliate link, you get two free stocks for signing up, I get one free stock. So if you like free money, click on the link. If you don't like free money, don't click on the link. Link. Let's go ahead and get to the review. Muscle Chef sent over iced mocha coffee protein. Shout out to the Muscle Chef for sending this over and giving me the opportunity to review to my channel. I really, really, really do appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get to the motherfucking review. Well, let's go get to the review. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into that price point. The price point is it's like $15 on the website for whatever reason. It's like $13 as of right now. So I don't know if there's a sale going on or if there's always a sale. So if you're looking at the price point, it's pretty fair because you're getting 14 servings. So it's, it's less than a dollar serving regardless. And if you use the coupon code, wait for it, Opperman12, but it gets you 12% off, bringing this down even further. So the price point is very, very fair for this protein. All right. So without further ado, let's get into the label time. Label time is... Um, one scoop is uh, 25 grams, and you get 14 servings, 85 calories, you have three grams of fat, you have seven carbs, one sugar, one gram of sugar alcohol, three grams of, pro uh, three grams of fiber, 13 grams of protein. Um, and then there's 10 uh, milligrams of, ca uh, of caffeine. So it's a very, very small amount of caffeine. So there's coffee, the ingredients is whey protein at 52%, coffee at 22%, coca at 16%, and then inulate, and then it's, it is sweetened with erythritol, and that's it. So it says mix one scoop with 150 milliliters. Good thing we got milliliters on here because I definitely don't know the difference between milliliters and ounces. All right, I got the hippie milk on deck. It does say mix it with like iced water or iced since it's iced, but I'm not going to do all that shit. I'm just going to do it as a regular drink, guys. By the way, disclaimer, I'm not the biggest fan of, of coffee in general. And iced mocha is like a coffee chocolate type of flavor. So we'll see. We will see. All right, I got this thing ready to roll. I got the scooper on the top. It smells like it smells like cocoa. Smells like straight up cocoa. So it says mix one scoop, right, for 150 milliliters. So I got that ready to roll. By the way, I know that I said the price point's fair because it's a dollar serving, but usually a dollar serving, you get like 20 grams of protein. In this case, you're only getting 13 grams of protein. So as far as like per serving, it's very, very fair. But if you're looking at it as a, as a, as a protein, per protein, per gram of protein, it's not like the greatest deal, but per serving, it is a really good deal. And this is also not just a protein, um, it's not just a protein powder, it's actually going for something else. It's like, you know, an iced coffee type of taste. I know they make coffee flavored protein, but it is definitely going for like a different type of vibe. It's going for like the coffee crowd. You know, it's not going for the regular gym bro. They're going for like the on the go people that like to have coffee they get this because they get the coffee benefits of having some caffeine and you get that mocha taste you get that coffee taste so it is what it is i mean i think it's still a fair price you're still getting it for a dollar serving you know at the end of the day that's that's a pretty good deal in my opinion so anyways i'm not the biggest fan of of uh coffee but i will give it a very honest opinion okay even though I don't like something, I can tell you that it's still good flavoring. You know what I'm saying? So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Pop the top, do a taste test, and then I'll tell you what I think. Here we go. Holy shit. Now that is coffee tasting. Wow. Like out the gate, you just get hit with like fucking coffee. Whew. This is definitely going for the coffee crowd, guys. All right. I'm not a biggest fan of coffee. This thing is fucking coffee. All right. It's like it's like that straight up smack you in the face coffee taste. 
and then it's got like a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of cocoa in the background. But predominantly, this thing is like 60 to 75% black coffee type of smack you in the face. And like I said, I'm not a coffee fan, but I could tell you that this is, this is gonna be good for coffee people, all right? Straight up. Like I'm almost positive Sarah's gonna love this. She loves coffee. Then again, she likes putting a lot of creamer and shit in it too, so I don't know. Anyways, this is for the hardcore coffee type of people. This is not like the sweet, the sweet coffee flavored protein type of taste. This isn't it. This is like smack you in the face coffee. That bitter, dark, roast type of taste, all right, in the front. And then it tapers off with a little bit of chocolate action and a little bit of sweetness action. So this is going for that really hardcore coffee crowd, okay? It's not going for the gym, bro. So that's what it is. So I really don't know how to rate this because like, you know, for, for a coffee fan, I think this thing really hits. But for me personally, I'm not a fan of it because I don't, I don't like it, you know? I don't like that dark, bitter, roast type of taste. You know, these are, this is one of these flavors where I really don't know how to rate it. So I'm gonna leave you with this. I think it's pretty good, but I would never try this, or I never would drink this. I would have to mix it with some other stuff because that's just too dark roast type of taste for me. You know what I'm saying? So I told you the disclaimer, I don't like coffee that much to begin with. And when I drink coffee, I drink a lot of creamer and I put a lot of shit in it to kind of mask that taste. This is, this is for the hardcore, coffee type of people. So I'm not gonna rate this today. Today, I'm not gonna rate this because I don't feel right rating something that personally I would give it a different rating on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna leave you with that. Um, you know, it is what it is. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, what the hell was I gonna say? Oh, thanks Muscle Chef for sending this over and giving me the opportunity to review it on my channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys like coffee, you guys are gonna love this, okay? So if you guys wanna check it out, use Opperman 12. It gets 12% off everything on their website. And other than that, we're progressing, never regressing. And other than that, I'll check you guys later. Hey.